Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of the Dyson Sphere program. And yes, as you can tell by the uh, few extra rings around the star, I have been busy. I went back to Lysa 2 and I got, uh, I went from the two railguns up to the six. Well, I have six different orbits going right now, and it is actually quite something, because these are actual physical objects in the world. Well, you can't actually collide with them, but not only can you see them on the map, but you can see them in the real world, and... And if we actually go up there, and actually fly up in amongst the rings, I thought that was actually cool. So yeah, this is uh, something else. I have done some research. Let me uh, get going again. I have unlocked the, the ray receiver, and I have actually built a few. Now, it was uh, there was a little thing that came about... Uh, about how I'm creating Dyson Swarms right now, and they're not really a Dyson Sphere. Uh, the, to get to the Sphere, i got to get to the vertical launch launching silo, which starts bringing up uh, these materials, as far as I know, up there to automatically build the Dyson Sphere. So more or less to, I think, to join all the panels together, I guess, all the solar sails. Now, regarding the solar sails, there is actually some uh, technology we can uh, do for it uh, right here. Uh, solar cell life. So the first one adds five minutes, next one adds five minutes, next one adds ten minutes, and then ten minutes, and then fifteen, and so on and so on. Uh, it, you know, it did actually come up and say that uh, they will degrade over time any more or less. You have to keep pumping sails up into the up into the the swarm to keep it alive. So that is that. Uh, there is actually stats here. I can see I'm generating 90, 90 megawatts right now, which is actually not bad. And I currently have 2,500 solar sails up. Now they're get, so getting to the point where they're going to be starting to die off pretty soon. You can, see, I think this is the amount, of, amount that are currently launched at a given time or something. But needless to say, that's what's going to happen. So, of course, the more sales I get up, the more power I generate. The longer they live, the more power I generate. Anyway, uh, you okay? The twitch not there. Anyway, uh, I actually have one of these three receivers, so let's go check it out. Let's head over here. Now, as far as I know, this is actually just going to be able to pull energy right from that 90 megawatts that I'm generating. At least that's what I'm assuming. Now, I do have six of them already made right here and not as big as I thought it would be well, let's put that here here and see what it does you built a ray receiver which can receive the high energy rays transmitted from the Dyson sphere and directly input them to the power grid however caused by the ray receiving efficiency the ray receivers requested power will be larger than the documented output power of the Dyson sphere you can keep it working or upgrade technologies to increase the ray receiving efficiency. Huh, interesting. Okay, so strength is. Uh, let me have a look at this. Alright, well, let's try something different. Let's place it over on the other side of the planet where the sun is and see what it actually does. Uh, yeah, ray receiver. Let's put it. Uh, right here and see if this actually collects any power it does all right so it has to be expo exposed to it so then that means that i was looking at uh, the dyson sphere here and apparently i can't get my orbit past let me get out of here uh, from what i've seen i can't get my orbit past too, too much further than uh, light lysa 2 so i think i'm basically stuck to here so i might not actually get power here uh, unless I'm actually facing it, and it's not doing too bad, but again, this is like almost very little, considering, uh, oh, that's right, I feed this thing gravitational lenses, I think. But yeah, that's just all about uh, technology, I, I go in here, get rid of that, this is actually what I'm doing, going to, going to here, and there is, uh, where is it here, there we go. Ray transmission efficiency. So I just get lose I lose some of the dissipation, so I might get into that. But I'm not too sure. Uh, what I do want to do though is I want to go check out see how it is over Lyseth 2. Or Lyseth 1 actually. It just happens to be right next to it. Another thing I want to do 
If I have the resources, I do not, because I want to get into this gas giant exploration. But I actually like this. This is where it's really starting to tickle my fancy. The fact that I'm flying through a field of all these things that I've been building and launching. And that there's going to be more and more depending on how many I want. Uh, I like that. That's actually really cool. Alright. Uh, Lysith 2 or Lysith 1. We're in a nice hard crash landing. Oh, and what do you know? We just happen to be at a perfect spot too. All right, um, let's see what you do here. You should actually generate quite a bit being so close to it. All right, how much are you actually generating? 1.3. Huh, interesting. Well, obviously you'll have to have a bunch of these around the planet, at least six of them, one on, uh, one on each pole and then four of them going around, but that is interesting. Alright, so now to head back, and uh, a couple of things I want to do in this episode, hopefully we'll try to keep this one short, uh, if I can find home, is I want to get the information matrix going. Where is, oh, there we go being fired at by my own planet uh, information matrix and gas planet exploration there's apparently resources here I'm curious at what the res what the resources are and so on so I'll bring you back when we're ready to go okay I am back and I am currently crafting a whole bunch of stuff getting ready for uh, the orbital uh, orbital collector so that's going doing its thing. I do have uh, some research labs made. Let's go ahead and start getting this research going. Now I'm thinking about hiding these ones here in the back corner here somewhere just because I can. Alright. Um, do I really need two of them? Sure. Why not? Alright. Let's go to science or research and I guess we'll do It doesn't really matter where I put them. Go three high there. And one, two, three high there. Alright. You are gonna be making information matrix. Alright, so I need to bring processors and um, boards over on um, particle broadband. Alright, so let me get this uh, mess wired in together and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. Processes are on the way. I got them going all the way back here, splitting up into these two here. And I have particle broadbands coming all the way down over here in between the wind farm and piling up into these conveyors. And all I have to do is set these to information. And they're going to do their thing. And they're going to funnel into here and they're not going to do anything at all until I actually start re researching something that needs them. And there we go. 27 hours of gameplay to make the information matrix. And I like that it actually shows you your gameplay time and the actual real world time. Okay. So, there we go. Now, as far as uh, research, uh, what did all got done? I can't remember. Uh, I am sort of progressing into different other things. Like, I know I'm going to need... Uh, you're going to need the waveform interface for the quantum t chip. The quantum chip is actually needed for the vertical launch silo. It is needed there, and it's also needed for the the carrier rockets. So that's something I'm, that I'm working towards. I'm also getting to the strange matter too. Or was I getting to the strange matter? Uh, not yet. Oh yeah, I will actually need that. So we're gonna have to get into that next too. Uh, suppose, let's check uh, mech upgrades. See what we've got going on here. Uh, I'm not too worried about solar cell life right now. A research speed, I can actually do that, but uh, of course you gotta research, do research. Anyway, uh, let's see. Finish up on that drive engine. Uh, or drone engine, actually. That'll come in really handy. Uh, and... Mecha core we can start getting to next. Hmm, I don't know if I'm quite ready for that, because I still need... Uh, 
drive the engine forward again to the warp. But well, maybe it will get to the mech core next. We have the information matrix going through. Anyway, while that's doing its thing, you can see the purple blocks going through. Uh, let's go see what we do with this thing here. Uh, it's not going to be Dyson Sphere, that is going to be transportation. Nope, that's not it. Oh, yeah, it is too. Not enough items. Oh, yeah. I crafted everything else but that. I'm missing the accumulators. Oh, okay, so I do actually need to place this thing down. I thought I made one. I don't think I did. Anyway, so yeah, I gotta be... I think I actually have to charge these things with this thing off the power grid. So, uh, high strength type class, ready to go. So let me get this done and I'll uh, be back. Oh yeah, that was fairly quick. I had more or less everything I needed. Now, I don't know how big this thing is or where it's going to go, but I have a feeling that this can go just about anywhere. Oh, it's taking a little while. And look at that. It's a sunrise of a thousand suns. Well, technically, 3200 suns. I love how the rig grows, too. That's quite something. Okay, uh, what are we doing here? We are doing this, which is almost done in 10... Roughly. Come on. Uh, let's go. Alright. And... Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Uh, it's uh, an okay size. Uh, where should I put it? Hmm. It's not cluttered enough over here. Let's put it right here. Built a powerful energy exchanger and can use it to quickly fill the accumulator with the surplus electricity in the grid. You can also release the electric energy stored in the full accumulator with the same speed, with a stable logistics guarantee. It can continuously supply the grid with power. Okay, so you're saying container in, container out kind of deal? At least, that's, that's, at least that's, that's what I think you're talking about. Craft another one of these, just cause. Oh. I think I know what I'm doing. If you want, let me choose. There we go. Give me that. There we go. Alright, so I do believe. I do believe I have hitbox in my face. Alright, so where are those accumulators? Put those in. And I supply this with power as soon as I get the right thing going here. I crafted five. Oh well. I'm sure I'll use them in no time. There we go. Oh, ha 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 ha! Helps the conveyor going, conveyor going the right way. Uh, let's see here. How do I rotate it? Oh, here we go. Flip pull path. There we go. It did something. Ah. Aha. I knew it had something to do with that. Alright, let me charge these things and I'll be right back. Okay, the last one is charged. So now, I'll go ahead and craft this. It's 20 seconds, I have no idea if I have to fly up, fly up around, uh, wherever that gas giant may be. Where'd you hide go? Where are you hiding at? Somewhere around here. It's a gas giant, can't be that hard to find.
Anyway, uh, there it is. Alright, uh... Oh, the building range. Hmm, maybe it does. Go find that gas giant. Always wondered what happened if you actually crashed into it. Find out. So, okay. So that's what I thought. I'm actually floating. I'm not not in flight mode. I'm just sort of hovering. Okay. Interesting. Alright, so where is that going to be? Transportation. At the equator. Okay. Let's see if we can fly to the equator. Alright, let's try this now. Uh, transportation. Oh, I'm still a little ways to go with the equator, I think. Alright, I'll bring you back when I actually find it. Okay, I found it. And yeah, it happens to be right at the equator. Not necessarily right on the equator. Actually, it is. Okay, so we're going to place it right there. Now let's see what this thing actually does. I have a feeling I have to bring, bring, bring in these batteries in. You have built an orbital collector, which can collect the resources of this gas giant automatically. The logistics vessel will come to pick up the cargo as long as you set these resources as interstellar demand at other sites. Furthermore, to maintain the collector working, the collected resources will be transferred to energy in the first place. Cool. Self-sustaining. Alright, go away. I don't care about you anymore. Alright. Come on, go away. There we go. Alright, so yeah, this is... The other one I saw, that was... Alright, so it's just straight up hydrogen and interstellar gas. And it generates its own fuel. Okay. Uh, this interstellar gas I needed for something. What was it? It was... It was something it was being made into. It was an alternate recipe. I can't remember what it was. There it was. Graphene. That makes it so much easier then. And it gets the hydrogen out of it. And how much does it seem to produce? An average amount. Not bad. Gotta like the model. You don't have vacuum. Ah, uh, go away. Interesting. I don't have to supply it with any bots, I think. It just comes and picks everything up. Alrighty, well, let me uh, head back to the main planet here, and we'll see what we're up to next. Okay, so I'm looking at where I think we're going to go next. I'm sort of looking through here. I know... Uh, uh, once we start getting into like this stuff here, I'm gonna have to start researching this. Now look at this, and this is gonna be more titanium, lots and lots of titanium. Like these are uh, those carbon nanotubes, which are titanium and the graphene, and then they got titanium alloy. And these things here, I don't know how many I'm gonna need, but I'm gonna need a bunch of these. And I'm also gonna need more solar panels. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of grind. Uh, I guess probably cue that up next. Uh, now, what did I, what did I need for this? Oh yeah, the quantum chip. So, um, yeah, maybe we won't cue that. We gotta get this quantum chip under the underway here, and that's gonna be next. Actually, that's gonna be here. Uh, the quantum chip is gonna be interesting because I have to get to the, the, the Casimir crystal, and the Casimir crystal is. One of those crystals that I'm making with titanium and organic, the, the organic thing. Graphene and more hydrogen. Uh, well, at least we're getting hydrogen. Uh, the graphene, actually, uh, think about it. Graphene, I'm actually ma making... Oh, look at that, getting graphene and hydrogen. That actually might be fairly simple then. 
graphene and hydrogen is just a matter of making these crystals, which I'm already producing. I got a second line produced already, or set up already to produce them. Yeah, so that actually might be fairly simple to do. It's just a matter of making this, this crystal, which, like I said, I'm already making now. I set up a, another chemical plant, creating more of these crystals so I can get more of these being made. So that's going to slowly generate some resources for us. But with that, I think it'd be a place to call it. Uh, next one's going to be the quantum chip, which is just more processors. Uh, processors maybe we can look at making those off-site what do we need we need circuit boards which I'm making and uh, crystalline components which is silicon now if I go back to Lyseth one less one, we should probably name these things something I can actually uh, mention or something I can actually say pronounce there we go yes that's a word uh, as you can see, 20 million copper, and we do have a, a good chunk of silicone ore here itself. Now, I believe the silicone ore does smelt into a one to one. Uh, let's find a smelter. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I don't have a smelter on me. Uh oh, what am I doing here? Uh, smelter, please. Thank you. I'm going to just place that down so I can actually have a look inside. Oh, no, oh, okay. Never mind. So it gives me that, which goes right to the silicon he gets. Alright, that's fine. There's enough there to get half a million ingots at least. And probably gather up some stone. Uh, I don't know if there's any other silicone in the system, but we're going to be getting to the mech drive. Not that, that's not that. That's not the mech drive. I think we're going to have to go look in another planet, I think. I know we have to get to warp technology too, which I believe is somewhere around here. I have no idea. Anyway, I think this would be a good place to call it here. I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Later. I wonder if I can actually see that thing from here. See everything else. Oh yeah.